Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here. And what exactly is the Roth IRA five year rule and how do you use it? Okay. And by the way, if you ever heard about the fire squad, the financial independence, retire early squad, those people right there, well, they use this to retire early and to basically avoid paying a 10% penalty and also a ton of money in taxes all at once. So today I'll tell you exactly how it works and I'll teach you how to use it. If what your goal is, is to use it to then go ahead and basically retire a lot earlier okay that's the idea for this video and by the way if you guys are new here i post videos every single day so make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell so get notified and on top of also destroy the like button now the very first thing is this guys okay we all know for a fact that a roth ira has its limitations meaning i can't invest ten thousand dollars or 40k into it no i'm only limited to it to around 6k per year and i cannot invest more into it now if my goal is to retire early how am i supposed to do that by only investing for example 6k per year you might want to do a lot more so what do you want to do here is basically you want to invest the rest of the money into a 401k but we also know hey if 401k also has its limits and penalties and all that stuff, right? So that's also gonna be a problem, right? Because if I invest $19,500 into my 401k, max it out completely, well, I can't touch the money until I'm like around 59 years old. And if I do, I get penalized and I also pay tax on it, right? And I wanna avoid that. So how exactly can I use a five-year rule to avoid all this stuff? Well, the idea is you wanna use the Roth conversion ladder. And here's where things actually get very, very interesting. And by the way, all this information is 100% legal, so don't worry about getting in trouble here. So let's say, for example, guys, your goal is to go ahead and retire very early. And let's say you need, for example, a million dollars to actually do this. And your goal is to say, hey, I wanna get there in the next 20 years, right? In 20 years, I wanna have one mil and retire a lot sooner. I don't wanna spend 45 years working this job that I actually don't like that much. So what exactly do you do here, okay? And by the way, you might like it, but maybe you might wanna have more freedom. That's it, by the way, retire early, financial thing, all this stuff. In reality, it's not about basically quitting your job. It's basically about, hey, this gives me more options. That's all you basically want when it comes to retirement. Hey, if I don't wanna work that job, I don't have to. I can find a job that I actually like a lot more, but I don't have to worry about that much about money. Now, the idea is, again, if I wanna retire with a million dollars over the next 20 years, I have to invest somewhere around $1,454 every single month. So again, $1,454. And fifty-four dollars. And by the way, the way I know that guys is basically I used a savings goal calculator at investor.gov, right? And the idea is again, I want a million dollars. I'm gonna start off with one dollar. I'm gonna do this over twenty years. I'm gonna get around ten percent. And in reality, it says right here the math shows I need to invest one thousand four hundred and fifty-four dollars every single year for twenty years to get to my goal of one million dollars. That's the idea. Now, as you guys know, okay. This much money per month times 12 is somewhere around $17,000, which means I can't put all this money into a Roth IRA. I'm gonna have at least a surplus, minus a 6K for the Roth IRA, of around $11,000. So where I put that money? The answer is going to be basically into your 401k. Now, how exactly can I get that money from the 401k into my Roth when the time is actually right? Because again, the 401k, has too many limitations. And by the way, the goal is to retire early, much earlier than, for example, 59 years old, okay? Because that's the only time you can go ahead and take that money out of the 401k without being penalized, okay? So what exactly do you do here? Well, here's where the conversion ladder and the five-year rule come into play. And the whole concept is basically, we're gonna grab that money in that 401k and roll it over into a traditional IRA tax-free, penalty-free, by the way, it's allowed. And by the way, some employers allow you to do it while you're working, but some say, hey, you have to quit the job first and then do that after, okay? It's up to you, depending on your employer. But the idea is, yes, you can roll that 401k money into a traditional IRA, tax-free, and also penalty-free. However, to roll that money into the Roth IRA is when we're gonna use the conversion ladder and also, for example, the five-year rule. Now, obviously, guys, okay, if my plan is to retire with a million dollars. That's going to be a lot of money. So again, guys, okay, simple math shows this. If I'm gonna do this with my 401k, the answer is if I max it out 
And I invest, for example, $19,500 every single year, right? For those 20 years. And I get a million dollars, okay? What exactly does this mean? It means over the past 30 years, well, 20 years, I only really invested of my own money, contributions, only around 390K, but I have a ton of money in gains. Around somewhere, around 610K in gains, okay? That's how much money I made off of that compound interest. A lot of money if you ask me. However, when you roll over a 401K to a traditional IRA, that's tax-free, penalty-free. However, when you roll over a traditional IRA over to a Roth 401k, you will pay taxes on the gains, but you will avoid that 10% penalty. And that's a cool thing. However, we all know for a fact, if we put in this amount of money and we have a million now, okay, that means we made a gain of around $610,000, which means we will be taxed at basically our normal income tax rate. Now, if you made this much money, you are gonna be taxed at the maximum, okay? The maximum tax bracket, basically a lot of money. Now, less than around 30% or 37%. Now, that means basically multiplied by 0.37%, you're going to need around $225,000. Now, where the heck are you gonna get all this money? Usually it's gonna be, hey, Tommy, I don't have all that money. I'm gonna have to go ahead and sell some of my investments to then go ahead and roll it over completely. Now, that means you're gonna be short around $225,000 when it comes to retirement, and that's what I don't want for you. So that's what we use, for example, is schedule with the conversion ladder and also the five-year rule. And here is where things get interesting, because again, the cool thing is basically, you don't have to roll over all that money at once into your Roth IRA. And we wanna do that because basically in the Roth IRA, that money grows tax-free, you can take it out also without any penalties. However, in the traditional IRA, you have to wait until you're 59 years old. And that's why you wanna move that money from there over to the Roth IRA. Now, how do we do this? Well, again, if I now have a million dollars in this um, traditional IRA, what do I do? The answer is, well, you wanna divide this number right here by the amount of money you're going to need every single year for retirement. Now for me, I don't know about you, I only need around $48,000. So in my case, I need $40,000, so divided by $40,000, that means over the next, for example, 20 years, I'll be doing this to basically avoid that big tax all at once. Now, this means when I roll over that $48,000 into my Roth IRA, I pay taxes on it, but not that much. Let's say, for example, I pay 30%. That's only around $14,000. I can pay that tax. Now, the five-year rule says, basically, I have to wait five years so take that money out penalty-free and tax-free. So take that $40,000 out, I have to wait that five-year period. Now, every single year, I'm gonna be rolling over 48K, 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 every single year for the next, for example, 20 years, potentially even more, because again, that money is still going to be growing in that traditional IRA. It's still going to be growing. Now again, we're waiting so long because basically, we don't wanna get hit with a big tax bill and use up all that money right away. That's the idea, okay? That's what we're waiting so long to actually do this for. And by the way, it's just rolling it over, so don't worry that much. And by the way, that 14K in taxes, you save it up, okay? And then you pay it in cash. That way, you don't have to worry about, hey, I have to sell my investments. That's not what I want for you at all. Now, also, the cool thing is this, guys, or the bad thing is this, okay? When you roll over $48,000, the five-year rule starts there. You have to wait five years. When you roll it over again next year, it starts over again on that other $48,000, okay? So now one is for four years, one's for five years, and every single year you do it, it starts to clock again for every single distribution, okay? So it's not like, well, after five years, I take them all out. No, you have to wait, okay? So that's the idea. But the cool thing is basically that after five years, every single year after, you get to take money out tax-free, penalty-free. Because basically, you made a schedule for it, and that money's gonna be taken out every single year. And by the way, the cool thing is basically, that money is going to last you potentially forever, okay? Because basically, if you just take out 4% of that 1 million, it should last you a minimum of at least, for example, 33 years. So overall, again, the overall idea is this. In order to avoid all those taxes at once, we roll it over step by step small amounts and small amounts, okay? And we can use that money after five years and every year after. So after those five years, 
we don't have to keep waiting because basically we scheduled it. So after five years, every single one of them is going to be done every year after because basically we schedule it correctly. Now that's the awesome thing. This way we avoid also those penalties and we get to retire much faster. Now again, I also recommend, okay, remember, over the next 20 years, okay, Tommy, what do you do this, okay? The answer is, well, I think it's a big sacrifice to pay that much money in taxes every year, but you have to because that would get retire early. It's a big sacrifice, I know. But the idea is that my focus would be, hey, while I'm doing this for 20 years, I wanna make sure I pay off my home, right? If that home is paid off, well, shelter is taken care of. I don't have a mortgage anymore. I don't have a rent payment anymore. On top of that, my car is paid off. That's taken care of. My emergency account is also funded. So if anything happens to me, I have money there. I don't have to sell anything. That's the idea. Because by the way, for those five years, you have to be disciplined and you cannot use that money. That's how the five-year rule works when it comes to retiring early and how the fire people basically use it. Keep it in mind, guys, okay? By the way, any questions, comment down below. Let me know. And before I go, guys, I want to explain this again so you guys understand it here. Every time you transfer over $40,000, Every single individual transfer has its own five-year clock, okay? So it doesn't start over. It has its own clock for every distribution made every single year. And again, we're waiting because basically we don't have all the money to pay those taxes all at once. If you do, you can do it if you want to. But if you don't, just wait. That way you don't have to sell your investments whatsoever. And that's not what I want for you. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. As always, like this video. On top of that, also subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I post a video every single day. And on top of that, guys, if you guys want to call me, I also have a third channel called the Action Impression Show where I take a call from Monday to Friday. So schedule a call, link down below, all calls are free. And also subscribe to my second channel, Time Bryson Show, also link down below. So basically I upload three times a day from three channels, okay? And on top of if you wanna DM me, well join me on Instagram at Tiny Bryson. And before I go guys, thanks for watching and as always, peace.